Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're building ski bikes. Recently we got two free bikes um, just from some neighbors. And we also got a free pair of skis, a kid's pair of skis, so they're really short. Um, I'm not sure you could get any shorter. And those work out perfectly because they're the perfect length so they don't run into each other and we don't have to cut them. And then we also got another pair of skis the same length from Goodwill for $7. And then we just bought some hardware from Home Depot to mount them to the bikes. Anyways, enjoy. Oh, and I almost forgot. Today I have special help for my older brother. First, we completely stripped them down just so we have the steering and the frame. And we actually took off the chain ring too, so it was completely stripped down. We just had pedals and steering. We just got all the parts off and now we're trying to get all these darn stickers off and a good tip for using to get stickers off is to use like a heat gun or a blow dryer in this case we have a heat gun um heating it up and then using some sort of plastic edge you can use like a tire lover or in this case we have a plastic ruler because we can't find our tire lover and then just scraping it off the plastic will help so that it doesn't scratch the frame I didn't get this on film, but to mount the skis to the actual bike, um, we bought some bolts, and basically what we did was imagine a gate hinge, and then where the hinge point is, there's like a bolt through the middle of it. We basically drilled that out and put another bolt through it, and then that bolt that we put through it, we just attached that on to the actual thing. And then we took two by fours, cutting them at 45 degree angles, and then we bolted those together, and then we just drilled up through the underside of the skis. We just took the grips off these handlebars and look at the color difference between under the grips, the original color, and outside the grips. I just want to note that not everything made it into the video for we couldn't film some things and some things we generally forgot to film, um, such as using WD-40 or degreaser to get the uh, residue under the stickers off to get that clean look. And then also when you're screwing into the underside of the skis, you want to first drill with a smaller bit to drill through. Then you're going to want to use a countersink bit to get it very flush. We were up late last night getting no attach to the skis, but we only ended up getting one attached to the ski. What we basically did is you took that hinge, drilled out the hinge part so this bolt right here could fit through instead of the hinge. Then bolted it to here, then we drilled it up through the bottom. Little update, we took the original pegs that were originally back here, and we put them up there, uh, took off the axle, and we basically just stuck the uh, the back axle through the um, bottom bracket, and then we tightened them down enough to the point where they wouldn't move, and yeah. Make sure to like for part two to see us test out these awesome snow bikes, and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.